Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick video talking about piston ring orientation. How the rings are installed on the piston. If you look at my chart I made up, where you're looking at this is kind of like this from the side. It gives you an idea of how it's going to be on the piston. When you buy a set of rings for a small engine, you'll get a piece of paper that looks similar to this. I'm just doing this in case you, you bought a set of aftermarket rings that you uh, didn't get this paper with or you lost it or something like that. There's usually about four different sets. The first and the second are the most common that you'll see. The third or fourth are uh, used on newer engines, which uh, the main difference is the oil ring design. I don't have an example to show of the slant rings, but I do have one of the groove and the oil rings to show you. Okay, first off, that's the square one. As you can see, the end of the ring is square, just like this one right here. And this ring here has a groove on this side right here, as you can tell. Just like this, the middle ring on these two sets. Now, I have seen on aftermarket rings that there's a groove cutting that on the top ring, the top compression ring as well. It's usually a slant like that, as you can tell. The slant would be like on the, the inside top. And you got about three different types of oil rings. The chart here only shows two. This is your old style that you see on most of the older engines. And the ring itself is flat on the inside, but it's got the groove on the outside, like you see here. This part here will go on the piston first. And the oil ring slot, just like that. And then you will put your oil ring on it. Just like that. That's how it is on the older style. Most of your new engines won't have it like that. They'll have it a spring set up. If you ever get to take rings off, you just pretty much do it the same way. Just gonna peel them off and take your time with it. You can usually get them off without breaking them. Now this thing here, when you go to take it off, it's usually best to get like a screwdriver, maybe two screwdrivers to peel it up so you can grab a hold of it. And your newer type, which is uh, similar to this, is uh, it has a groove cut on the inside of it, just the same as the outside. And you get this spring that kind of just goes inside it like that once you get it on there. And that's how that type works. And that's actually kind of easier to work with. It makes it a little harder to compress, as you can see. And the third type of ring looks kind of like this. This one's broke, and I'm missing the other part. There'd be another part like this on the outside. And that's uh, another newer type of ring you'll see on newer engines. I don't like these at all because they always fall apart like this. And, uh, maybe they're supposed to be like that because I've never actually uh, replaced the bought new rings like this. I've usually just uh, had uh, either this type or the type I was talking about earlier with the uh, bent metal that goes behind it. But no matter what type of ring it is, it all goes on the piston the same way. And you'll just, uh, you gotta be very careful with rings not to bend them out too far or they will break. They make a tool for doing this, but I just do it by hand and see so you just peel more like that. And if you had to get this in the middle ring, you just walk it over like that until you get it in the middle ring groove. And to take the rings off, you do the same thing backwards like that and just peel them off. When you get ready to put the oil ring on, sometimes it's easier to walk it up from the bottom instead of the top. Especially if you save it for last. So. Well, that just gives you a few pointers on the installing your piston rings there, and this is the same for just about any Briggs and Stratton engine. I'm pretty sure it's probably similar for the Tecumseh engine, because uh, they're all basically the same. But uh, that's about it, so if you got any questions or comments, uh, leave a comment below or send me a message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, thanks for watching.